And the next question is on police, fire, and employees' pensions. Should there be a top limit of 100000 or 110000 Leave it a negotiated solution for our pension problem. Out of negotiation comes a salary cap. That's a position I will support, but it must come from the negotiating table. Now, does it make sense to have a cap? I think on the all in all, most people would say, yeah, that makes sense. We know that that's the solution. I don't think we do know that that's the solution right now. And, and so I'm, I, 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 if, if it is something that is negotiated, it is something that I would support. Thank you. All right, so let's be clear. There is going to be pension reform, and it's going to come from the state. There's going to have a cap on it, um, and that's going to be going into the future. As far as retroactively going back, and renegotiating contracts and things that people already did at the collective bargaining table, I'd be against that. Because to me, you honor a contract. And if we've negotiated contracts and people have foregone raises for five years and now we want to go back and just renege on our deal, well, that doesn't give us a whole lot of credibility as a city. So going forward, it'd be something that I would entertain, some moderate change, something that was fair, respecting the fact that we have officers uh, that are risking their lives every day. But let's keep in mind, San Jose just have, is having their first academy in three years. They just hired 45 officers, and their biggest problem, if you watch the news, retaining talent. Everybody's leaving, and we just hired seven of them. So there you go. If you can't retain police officers, you're not going to have a safe city. I remember when $100,000 was a lot of money. These days, unfortunately, due to um, inflation, inflation and the cost of gas, mortgages, $100,000 $100, doesn't spend like it did 10 years ago. That's stating the obvious. But with regards to the um, cap, I think it's appropriate during these recessionary times. It will keep um, peace, fire, and city employees out of the newspaper receiving negative press about some of the money that they've earned over a lifetime. But I think it's appropriate during these days. I support the collective bargaining process. One of the things that uh, we're talking about is the salaries and the caps on uh, police. The fact is that they uh, work in very dangerous jobs. When you take a look at the fire uh, fighters, they're actually exposed to very uh, dangerous situations well as toxic uh, materials. When we take a look at the caps of 110 or 100,000, you're really talking about a senior or an executive level. When you take public sector or even the private sector, the executive level is a lot more than that. Hey, Mr. Perla? Repeat the question again. I couldn't hear you. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, how does that sound? Oh, much better. We should use this one. Okay. Um, what I said earlier is that when we're talking about you know, cabs, we're looking at the fact that firefighters, police officers, they live, in, they work in very dangerous jobs. Particularly firefighters also. Uh, firefighters are exposed to toxic materials when they fight fires. Uh, just recently, we had a firefighter who had a heart attack uh, because of the fact that he was exposed to to uh, dangerous, uh, dangerous toxic uh, uh, environments. Um, may I continue? Okay. The, uh, the fact is that when we take a look at the, the caps, these are senior executive positions that we're really talking about. The average firefighter's pensions, as well as the police officer's pensions, are significantly lower. lower. These uh, captains or high sergeants or uh, lieutenant levels are executive positions and they manage our city's safety for over 90,000 people.